All right, welcome into a Tits Beer Bong 420 beverage review of a beverage that is basically um, another company's take on like an Arizona beverage. Because now I'm starting to find a whole bunch of different companies that are doing these drinks that are just like Arizona. Like in this one grocery store, I forget who the company is, but they have for 99 cents a can of uh, that green tea ginseng honey. And they do like a mango green tea. And then they had like an iced tea lemonade that had like green tea and that oobalong tea or whatever it's called. But Arizona cans, you can get little ones. You can get like different bottle sizes. But usually their cans are the tall cans that come in at the 680 to 710 milliliter mark. That's 23, 24 ounces. But these cans were 900 and some odd milliliters, 32 ounces. Well, there's other companies doing that too. Came across some by Brisk, and this will be a Brisk review. And isn't the old school commercials from back in the day when they had them? Wasn't it Brisk Baby? I can't remember, but yeah. They had three from Brisk in this one store. They had, uh, what were they again? They had an iced tea lemonade one. One that I do not remember what it was. And then the one I decided to pick up. And these are the 32 ounce cans, so they're a little bit bigger than Arizona. Another thing I noticed, they have a little bit less caffeine than Arizona. Because the ones that I first mentioned in this video were some were 20 something milligrams of caffeine in a can, some were 30 something. With Arizona, it can be different because I think the RX can energy thing is low. And different drinks, different caffeine content, but they're like iced tea cans are usually around like 45 milligrams of caffeine. And the drink I have here, it's somewhere between 15 and 20 milligrams, a whole can. And it came to $2 flat, so I had to pay a dollar more for the brisk ones. And this is their iced tea cherry limeade. Half and half. Half and half, and up on the top it's telling me the flavor. Somebody did some artwork for it. A little more to drink than you would in Arizona, because Arizona is three servings, this is four, so eight ounces more. I had to pay a dollar more, this wasn't one of the 99 cent ones. So, two dollars, not the dollar, to dollar twenty-five that you can pay for Arizona. Um, 65 calories per serving, 16 grams per serving, and um, yeah. A little hard to see how they put the writing on here. Kind of faded a little. It looks like uh, da, 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 da. looks like lemon juice. Um, instant tea. Uh, yeah, natural flavors. Sadly, it does have the two uh, calm and sweetness in here. Um, da, 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 da. This. For me to get my hands on it came from, well, this is not this area I picked it up in, but apparently this was made out in Mississauga, Ontario. Maybe where you are, it might say something different. So let's give it a try. Whoa, even that smoke that comes out is a little bit like a cherry color. And I can smell it a little from here. Just a little faint cherry smell. And it's almost right to the top so most of the can is filled which is maybe like five percent not filled well that's the coloring that it's coming out as folks i think we poured enough to show you so that's the coloring oh i can smell it more now like a bit of a stronger cherry smell but that's all i'm smelling oh look at that little thing inside now let's put it closer to my nose Closer to my nose, a stronger cherry smell, but in a syrup way, with hints of lime with it. So a cherry, popsicle, cherry, syrupy smell with hints of lime, and the taste of brisk iced tea cherry limeade.
careful with this one, folks. Because on a hot day, this could be easily just pulled the fuck down. It doesn't taste like Arizona, that's for sure. It doesn't even taste like the style that Arizona does. This tastes more like a pop than anything else. And it's a pop that has um, cherry as its most dominant taste. Not in the worst unnatural way, but it's tasting unartificial to me. It doesn't taste real, which I wish it did. Then I'd be like in love. But it's got not the worst fake cherry taste. And cherry is the most dominant taste. And then after a moment, you're getting an aftertaste that's hints of a lime. So it starts off. Not all that sweet tasting, but there's a little sweetness. Wet. Somewhat refreshing. Not 100% refreshing. Light bodied, because you could easily gulp this down. So it might be a little too watery, but it doesn't taste watery. And it starts off all cherry. And then a moment later, the aftertaste is hints of lime. So, I mean, Arizona is better and usually and cheaper. It's not always better though, but this will get a pass at least. It's all right. So, iced tea cherry lime made from brisk. They're half and half in a cup and two dollars flat. 